Welcome to this new Neumann Studio Monitors video training. Stefan, it's good to have you back with us. You've uh, been visiting us quite a lot recently. It's good to be back. Yeah. We've uh, got a new studio monitor to speak about today, the KH122, which I'm going to assume is the natural successor to the KH120A. Now, if I remember rightly, the KH120A came out back in 2010. It was Neumann's first studio monitor. And I do know that it has gone on to be a reference in the market. What are we doing different now? How are we going to improve upon what some consider to be perfection? I believe it's part of the Neumann philosophy to never be satisfied with what has been achieved so far, to continue to develop and to optimize and make things even more perfect. And I believe that's true for this new speaker as well. And quite frankly, when I was listening to the first prototypes of that, of that new speaker, I was quite amazed and blown away by how much of an improvement this new KH-122 is over the original KH-120A. And I believe this is fueled by the technological innovations of the last 12 years, yeah. uh, which have massively also influenced not only the the, let's say the, 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 the physical technology in the speaker, but also development processes which are now simulation based, which make analysis and finding the, the, little, the little bit that they are still to optimize makes it easier. And also our engineering team has gathered 12 years more of experience which they all poured into this project. Wow, that all sounds amazing. Could you give us some real concrete details about the new product? Sure. The, the new speaker is still a active two-way base reflex compact studio monitor. It still has a one inch tweeter and a five and a quarter inch woofer, but it is not a mere update of the of the existing speaker. And we, we can see that in the in the figures that we achieved, um, which is significantly more maximum SPL of 5 dB, which is a lower, deeper, low frequency extension down to 44 hertz now, which is significantly lower distortion and also a linearized phase response, which itself is just possible because we now have a DSP-based new electronics in the system, which we're going to talk about later. Mm -hmm. And that also allows us native support of the MA1 automatic alignment system, which you can use to adapt your speaker's performance to your specific room acoustics and optimize your monitoring experience. Yeah. Uh, but also gives you more convenience and, and usability features like remote control of all the parameters we've talked about and remote controlling the logo brightness or muting the speaker, adjusting levels and so on. Just makes your life easier. Yeah. And also from using digital electronics, we get the, the other product variant that is AS67 compatible, which exists in both colors as well. Yeah. So overall, you get a better tool that gets you to your objective in audio work faster and easier. 